This is former Premier League and England boss Peter Taylor. He is now the manager at Ithmian North Division side Malden and Tiptree. But how did they manage to pull off this great appointment? We've travelled down to the Malden Stadium to find out how. Here's all you need to know about their brand new gaffer. Taylor played as a winger for the likes of Crystal Palace, Southend and Tottenham Hotspur. He was the last Englishman to score two goals in his first two international games. A record that was only broken in 2013 by Ricky Lambert. He has a managerial career spanning over 35 years and has accumulated over 800 games in charge. When he was in charge at Leicester City, he was appointed caretaker manager for England just before Sven Goran Eriksson. He had one game in charge against Italy where he gave David Beckham the captaincy for the first time. So that's the boss. This is the club he's taken charge of. They were founded in 2010 when Malden Town and Tiptree United merged together. In 2014, the club's nickname was put to a vote. The Jammers was the overall winner in reference to Tiptree Jam. And in 2019, they went on a famous FA Cup run. They knocked out Leighton Orient in the first round, 2-1 at Brisbane Road. 600 Malden and Tiptree fans travelled to that game. You could say it was jam-packed. So what are these non-league players hoping to learn from a former England manager? Hopefully he can develop my game a bit more tactically. All round better player, score a few goals. Say almost the old school way of defending, or give me as least to do as possible really. I mean he's got experience, so I mean I'm always adding to my game and hopefully he can help me out. Peter's brought me in for experience, so we've got a lot of young boys over here. Hopefully these boys can learn off me as well as him. Game management really. I was obviously managing England Beckham and stuff to just, you know, pick up off kind of stuff like that, make me a better player. Improve my game and try to go as hard as possible. What do you think you need to improve on? Communication. Using my body more, definitely. Get me fitter, let me understand the game more and play 10 out of 10 every week. There's a saying in football, play for the badge on the front and they'll remember the name on the back. Morden and Tiptree's badge is a boat and some swords and here's what they mean. The three white Siaxis swords are the emblem of Essex. Essex people do love a boat party on holiday, but that is not what that represents. Malden is connected to the sea via the Blackwater Estuary, and that is why there's a big ship on the badge. That's the crest, here's the home kit. Modeling the kit today is Harvey Sayer. He's opted for the cut-off blue socks. There's a quality bit of detail at the top with the jammers print. There's a Crystal Palace vibe with the red and blue stripes. Now, Harvey, if you could just walk forward for us, pal. Lovely. And if you wanted to buy this kit, it's 45 English pounds from the Outdoor Club shop. You can also purchase hats, mugs, pin badges, and a lovely gelée. We were going to film Scott's Bargain of the Week, but unfortunately... Club shop man got too cold. <laughs> we also got cold, so we headed inside for a tour of the changing room, the gaffer's office, and the boardroom, where today's selection of biscuits were Rocky Bars. Adrian! After a quick snack, we spoke to Peter Taylor and asked him what it was like to manage England. Well, as far as managing a team, it's probably the best thing that's ever happened. I always wanted to be a coach, always wanted to be a manager. Started in 1986, but never dreamt I'd have the opportunity to manage the country, uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed. So if somebody wanted to give me that again, I'd take it and Gareth and come here. And here's why he made David Beckham captain. He deserved it, honestly. People don't realise how much he used to turn up. He never missed, uh, he never missed sessions, he never missed matches. He had to handle uh, everybody giving him stick, apart from Man United fans, after the 98 World Cup. And the way that he handled that, I thought was superb. So I thought he deserved it, to be honest with you. Thinking back, maybe Gareth Southgate and Gary Neville in the squad, maybe they might have been a better captain. But one thing's for sure with David, whatever you do with him, he will then work hard to be very good at it. On the topic of England managers, Gareth Southgate has committed his future to England for the Euros in Germany 2024. But we want to know, who do you think will be the next England manager? Let us know in the comment section below. We're going to ask some of this lot. Finish the sentence. Who should be the next England manager? Potter. Why? Why not? I don't know. Um, Peter Taylor. Peter Taylor. Why is that? Because he's already been there, done it. Finish the sentence. The next England manager should be? Gareth Southgate. Yeah, trust the process. I don't know, I feel like it should be someone English. Maybe Graham Potter if he ever left Chelsea. Thomas Tuchel, go and get him, yeah, why not? Brendan Rodgers. Well, I think Brendan Rodgers will allow players like Madison to come through. We can't be playing the same team, same team, same team. The gaffer's first job was to bring in some new additions. And they've just signed former South End winger Terrell Egbury. So T, that's what the players call him, what brings you to Malden? The manager wants to do something good for the last part of the season. I want to lift the spirits and get us back to climb, climb up the table. And what are you hoping to gain out of it personally? Game time, more, ex 
more experience and just to have fun and enjoy it again. How can he help your game? He coaches and he was a winger once himself. In training sessions, he's been like teaching me the ins and outs, off the ball and on the ball. So he's helped me out really well. This lad was a popular figure with the home fans and we wanted to know why. This is Location Football's first one to watch. Bradley Heald, yeah, striker. And I'm online from Colchester. If you could compare yourself to one player, who do you play like? Haaland. You've got the Haaland run as well. I've got everything. Just everything. the run. <laughs> just watch it in the game. We missed the walkout, but the players seem up for it. Up for it, come on! Be together, we're a team. Go out and show the fans, yeah? We're enough, right? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. It's not all glamour in non-league as we climb this ladder to watch the game from the gantry. It's worth noting Scott is afraid of heights. The game kicked off and Malden were awarded a penalty early on. Unfortunately though, the penalty was saved. Scott finally made his way onto the gantry and Scott was so hungry, he decided to have a burger. Right, it is time for a burger review with a view. And we're starting off 2023 with this beauty. Look at it. Look at the old hearty Italian bread, the old Subway special. Beautiful patty and look at that oozing melted cheese out the side. Set me back £3.50. <laughs> And there's been a goal. <laughs> I can enjoy it with the burger. Come back to me in a minute and I'll give you three words. Here is that wonder goal from Terrell Egbury as he cuts inside and gets his shot off to put Malden and Tiptree one up. Right, back to Scott's burger review. Bulky. Strong. Toasty. Morden and Tiptree then had this shot from outside the box. It was a good save from the opposing keeper. And then Holbridge were on the attack down the left-hand side and this cross came in and it's probably the best save we have ever seen on location football, which kept it 1-0 at half-time. There's only one way to warm up at half-time and that's with a game of every bit of metal. Three attempts, hit the left post, the right post and the crossbar. Yeah. The players came out for the second half, which meant Scott had to fight his fear and climb the ladder again. Just look at his face. Mulder on the tack early on and had the first shot of the second half. That was quickly followed by another shot from the left-hand side, which was well saved. And here's our one to watch Brad coming onto the pitch. Malden down the attack on the left-hand side again. The ball is whipped into the box and it's a great deflection from the centre half. Malden whipped in another great ball from the right-hand side, but unfortunately, Brad could not get on the end of it. Down to the last knockings then, Holbridge put the ball into the box and they almost score. All three points stayed with the home side, so it's time to ask Peter Taylor why he joined Malden and Tiptree. Oh, I had the opportunity to come here. I know people here. I know it's a good club. I know they were struggling a bit, even though they did pick up uh, of late. You know, I was just doing some scouting at the time, but I missed the training pitch. You know, I love being on that training pitch to try and put on some sessions and help some players. So uh, it tempted me. Having managed in the Premier League, how different is it to come down to non-league? The biggest difference is that I think that the lower the level, the more you have to keep on to the players about the same thing. If you're taking Barcelona, for instance, and you ask them to do a certain thing, they, there's a fair chance they pick it up straight away. That's where I think I've been very lucky that, you know, I have had lots of football clubs and lots of good experiences, but also lots of different levels. And, and you have to adjust on those levels. Sometimes you haven't got all the training balls you want and they're not all pumped up and all that. That's what you that's what you have to do. 